I'm going to do a quick video on how to use the radial gradient tool uh, to shape light in a photograph. We're going to use this image right here first. Um, this is a, actually it's a Boca panorama. I did it at a wedding at um, Princeton University for my nephew and his now lovely bride. And uh, it's one of the prettiest settings I've ever been in. And this is um, a panorama, again, that exists of about 51 shots taken with a Nikon 105mm F1.4. It's, it's one of my favorite photographs from the entire wedding. And this is just the basic assembled uh, panorama after I did that in Auto Pan a Giga. And, you know, it's good just like it is, but I think it can be improved a little bit just by shaping the light. Now, typically what most people do when they vignette an image, and let's go to the develop module and look down here at the vignette uh, tool, I think that's yeah, under effects, is they will literally just decrease the vignette around the image and that does look nice but it's an evenly applied vignette with no flexibility whatsoever which in certain cases is good but I've found that when you use the radial gradient tool it gives you more possibility because as you drag this over the image you can put the center of the vignette anywhere you want to. This would be akin to what you do with the vignette slider, yet when you use the radial gradient tool, you can put the vignette center anywhere that you want to and make it adapt more to the scene. And so here, when we bring the vignette down, you notice it doesn't darken down here at the bottom as much, and you can even move that out a little bit more, move this down further, move the fade up a little bit, and it makes, to me, a better image. So this is a great way to apply just a simple custom type vignette, or however you want to place it. And other things that I do normally to make this vignette look a little bit more natural, strangely enough, I up the shadows a little bit, which would seem to defeat the purpose. Then I add a little contrast to the outside. And to me, that makes it less visible and a little more natural looking um, the way I would presume my eye would see that. Now, other things you can do to this, which we won't actually do in this photograph, is you can tilt it one way or another to make the light appear like it's coming in from another direction. Or you can also add other vignettes uh, on top of that. You can hit the New button, put another vignette, say, down here on the floor, and literally invert the mask, which means it applies inside the circle, not out of it, and you could add a little bit of light at her feet. And now the character of this image has totally changed simply with a couple of radial gradients. And if you go over here on the right side at the bottom of that dialog box, you can turn both of those effects off. That's the original, that's the after. Now if the purpose of a vignette is to draw your attention to an object in the uh, photograph, these have certainly done that. And again, when you look at a vignette or a, or a radio gradient you've applied, you can hover over the center button and see where the light has been affected. And so they work really well to shape light like that. Now let's, let's say done on that one and go back to our other, because I will do one more picture really quickly. This is another one of my favorites from the wedding. Uh, this was their um, kiss right before the wedding started. And now, I'm going to apply the gradient a little bit differently, but we're still going to shape the light. We're going to go in the Develop module, select our Radial Gradient tool, and this time we're going to create a gradient sort of like this. Tilt it to the side, maybe bring it down here, and bring our light in from the side sort of like this and we'll bring that light down and you see how that emphasizes them without really taking anything away from the 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 background at all it just makes them stand out a little bit more and again you can uh, raise the shadows a little bit make give it a little bit more contrast 
And again, that's just are things that I do almost every time to make it appear more natural. You can even play with the intensity a little bit more depending on your taste. And then if you wanted to add other uh, bits of light, you could do that again. We could do the little thing like I did last time where you create a new one down here at the floor to give the appearance of the light hitting them, hitting at their feet. And again, you can invert the mass down there and then make that sort of light up their feet a little bit more. And that sort of shapes, it, it, it gives the light the appearance of coming in through these windows over there and hitting them. And it was doing that, but not exactly uh, in that manner. So those are things, ways you can use a radial gradient to shape the light in an image. And it's something you ought to play with because the possibilities are literally infinite. And there are some images that I'll end up with five or six uh, radial gradients thrown in to shine light here, shine light there. But that's a tool that I use literally all the time uh, to make images look better. And give it a try, see what you think. If you have any questions, just uh, let me know. Thank you.